What's up, everybody? Um, I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. I, I got home, my heat, my heat wasn't working in the house. And of course, now it's starting to get real cold. So I'm like, oh, God. So um, I got oil. Um, I have an oil furnace, uh, forced hot air. A lot of us up in New England got oil, unfortunately, but it's the way it is. So, um, you know, I don't do residential much anymore. So I'm looking all around, checking in the unit over here and this and that. And I'm like, but where am I losing power? I'm losing the 115 volts. And then I remembered upstairs, um, I don't know how the electrical code is in other parts of the country, but we have to have an emergency switch upstairs. Us happens to be in the kitchen. So turns out that that switch was bad. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick how to just, you know, just some very simple. I know you guys, are, some guys are going to be like, come on, Chris, we know this. Like, give us a break. But you got to remember my channel is focused on, um, Helping out beginners and new new guys and girls or whatever, this and that. So, you know, I know I didn't know how to do that when I first started. Even something as simple as checking a switch. This is all stuff you have to learn. So I figured I'd just throw something up, give you guys a quick video for right now, and um, just show you what a bad switch looks like and how to diagnose it. So here's the bad switch here, guys. Um, See, I got it hooked up to my meter just to, to uh, check continuity. This is These are... Very simple switches, single pull, single throw, that's it. You got two connections. This is my new switch here. But you just got two connections. I'm in the off position now. We turn it on. Nothing. See? Nothing. You will get it sometimes if you slam this up really hard. It's not even going to go right now. But it's because this switch is bad. If this switch is good, you will have continuity here. Okay? That's all it is. That's all you do to check a switch. Especially ones like this, because it's just a single pull. You know, it's not double pull, triple pull. But either way, it's the same way. It's either on or off. And if they, they don't work, the thing stays closed, oh well. The switch yeah. is bad. Here we are, hooked up to our new switch. Very simple thing. Off position, on. Off, on. It's all it takes, guys. You got continuity, that's it. You got to remember, only breaking one line upstairs. This is an emergency to kill the power. Um, to the furnace, boiler, whatever you got, just um, just as an emergency, God forbid that anything was happening, the thing was on fire or blowing up or something down in your basement or whatever. So that's why they put these switches upstairs so you can run to. Um, if God forbid there's ever an issue um in your house with anything like that. So here we are up here, new switches in guys. That's it. We're just breaking the line, breaking the line, breaking the loop. One on one, one on the other. Obviously, make sure your power's off when you do this. And um, after this, I'm going to tape this up with electrical tape. I like to wrap the whole things in tape just as well for just another safety precaution. So there that is, guys, all taped up. I like to tape them up, like I said, just a, just an extra precaution around there, you know, especially when it's live. I mean, I know you're going to be sitting in the junction box here, but, you know, some guys do this, some don't, but it's always good to be safe, so why not? Take the extra precaution. It takes another two seconds to tape them up. So I always try to do it when I can, you know? Actually, not when I can. I always do it. And that's that, guys. I even went down to Home Depot and got myself a nice new uh, switch plate for this. Nice new cover. Isn't that pretty? On, off, off, on. There we go. That's it. The heat will now work, guys. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And here we are, boys and girls. <coughs> Furnace fired up. Heat's now running. Thank God. Gotta have that. Like I said, we're getting cold this week, so winter's finally coming. So that's it, guys. Heat's all running. You can probably hear the furnace running in the background over here. Um, but everything is good. So, like I like I always say, guys, it, it, it sometimes it's the simplest thing. I was checking all down here in the furnace and everything when I didn't even think to look at the switch upstairs. You know, so it is what it is. I know it was a very simple thing, but just wanted to show you guys, remind you of that. You, you know, you never know what it's going to be. You know, I could have had a disaster here, but thank God it was like a $3 switch and, a, you know, I got another new cover for it for $1.50. So there you go, like a $5 fix. You know what I mean? And that helps when you fix your own stuff because guys like us didn't know this sort of thing. What would that? Would it just cost me, what, $300 to have someone come out and, put a switch in my house that takes like five minutes to do so that's it guys um thanks a lot for all the support again everyone guys you guys have been great um 
but um, I just love it. Um, just you know, follow me on Instagram if you don't. Um, it's CSC underscore reefer underscore and underscore HVAC underscore guy. So I'll put it up here in um, the description or whatever. Um, I'm getting a lot of followers on that too. I think a lot of you guys that subbed to me on this watch me on that. Um, I, I, on that, I'm a lot. I'm <clears throat> able to put a lot more up like daily. You know what I mean? Because a lot of it's just pitches and stuff. So. When I, you know, just can't film, don't have time, whatever. At least I get stuff up on there to show everybody. But thanks again for watching, boys. Catch you guys in the next one.